is it. Boom! One million! Woo! What's up everyone and welcome back! Just finished up the work day. Hope you're having a great day. It's freezing cold in Ohio. Definitely gonna play out in the snow a little bit. Maybe build a fire? What do you think? You guys wanna build a fire? That's impossible. Impossible? In winter. My dear boy, I can build a fire in the snow. Yeah, fire's so hot it can melt. And that's in the, in the house. I could build a fire in the house too. Just getting going here. We are so close to 1 million subscribers. That's so huge. You guys are amazing. Uh, currently I'm at 998,769. So I need 1,231? Eh, maybe. Uh, but we're so close, probably by time I'm by the time this uploads, hopefully I'll be at one million already. This is gonna be huge. You know what? We need to film something tonight for one million, tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I think we're gonna hit one million by tomorrow, so this is awesome. It'll be a Friday. It's gonna be huge. What a good entrance into the weekend. So we, we redecorated the tree. It looks fantastic. The, the tinsel came out really easily. I probably spent 10 to 15 minutes pulling tinsel out, that's it. All this stuff cleaned up really easy. It really wasn't that bad. I was, in my mind, I was thinking like total tinsel curtain. Tinsel curtain, tinsel curtain, curtain, curtain. Tinsel curtain. Tinsel curtain, but it cleaned up fairly fast. Look at this, I painted at grandma's. That's really good too, you really are crafty. So before we go outside and get frozen, I'm gonna start a fire. With this. Not yet. I'm gonna start a fire. That way when we come in, it's just hot in here. Let's get started. All right, we're gonna throw cardboard in first. Fold it up nice and tight. Get a fire starter. That's literally dynamite. Yeah, break out the dynamite. Break it? No, don't break the dynamite. <laughs> Yeah. I said break out the dynamite. It means to get it out. Like, oh. get it out with action. Oh. These uh, fire starter sticks are called dynamite, and they come in this box. It's pretty cool, and I'm assuming you can use all this for Kindle. We can put that in our fire. Kindle it up. Let's stack some wood in here. Get the small stuff on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Hi, guys. Dale Atwood here with Dale Atwood Fireplaces. And to get your fireplace going right, you're gonna want one of them sticks of dynamite. And then, just whip out your trusty old lighter, and we'll get this fire started. You wanna just graze the end, get it blazing. So once you get that dynamite nice and lit, just light the fuse, you really wanna work the base of your fire. You're gonna wanna stick that dynamite right where it counts. And that's at the base of your fire. That way all that heat can rise. You want to tuck that deep in the belly of the beast. Next, you're ready. Close them doors. Kick back and enjoy the fire with your friends and family. Look at this lighter. I had to have it. I could not live without it. Look how big it is. It's the size of my hand. Put open. Bam. That's an impressive lighter. And it was. To, no, to stop it, look. <laughs> there you have it, folks. Nearly windproof. Guys, I bought this lighter because it was so cool, and the store was out of lighter fluid, so I didn't get to use it for like three weeks because I kept forgetting to pick lighter fluid up. The fire's already raging. It's because of that dynamite. Dynamite explodes. This is gonna feel good after sledding. Yeah. All right guys, let's get suited up. I had to move the Christmas tree and stockings real quick. That definitely would have melted the Christmas tree and the stockings, so. All right, well that didn't last too long. By the time we were just getting going, kids were froze out. Everyone's defense, it's six degrees outside now, which is the first of the year that it's been this cold for us, so we're just not accustomed to it. Haven't built up the winter tolerance. Jess is just getting back with some pizza. What are you doing? Firing up some hot cocoa? cocoa. Nice. Kids already got the Pokemon. Yep. 
Pikachu Coco. Let's check in on the live subscriber count. We're getting close. 999,459. Ooh, 56. We just went down three. I just upset it three people bad. <laughs> Ow. The heat from this fireplace is like engulfing. It's so hot out here. The floor and everything is like at a hundred some degrees. It's hot. Cat, get away. Yeah, you better walk away. Now let's get some salad going. Get this pre-made stuff out of the way. We make our own in this house. As my whole life, I was never, never ever a ranch dressing fan. Never liked it, never. I'd always eat Italian dressing, which I still like a lot. However, then all the restaurants started serving the steakhouse ranch, and I tried it one time on like a french fry or a cheesy fry or something, and I was like, oh my gosh, that's good. So, we looked up the recipe online, how to make it, and for at least a year, we've been making our own homemade steakhouse ranch dressing, and it's fantastic, it's marvelous, it's superior in all ways to anything on the shelf. My homemade ranch, right. Mm -hmm. It's the only one I'll eat. All right, we're gonna dive into this food, I'll see you on the other side of the salad. All right guys, here is the exact problem with windows and I hate throwing people under the bus. However, the new Windows 10 makes you update. You cannot shut down your computer without updating and then shutting down. Upon restarting my computer, here's what I get. Windows recovery. It looks like Windows did not load correctly. See advanced repair options or restart my PC. This should never happen. I have everything on this computer. I turned it into my work editing computer and this is what happens. This is typical Windows. Let's see what happens when <coughs> I deny the advanced repair options and just simply restart my PC, which stands for piece of crap. The acronyms I could do for PC right now, given the circumstances. It's so frustrating, this stuff should just work. And when the updates that are supposed to fix stuff break stuff, it drives me crazy! How can they make an update that actually destroys your computer? I've seen it so many times. It's frustrating. Makes me want to bulldoze this thing under the bridge. If you don't know which option is right for you, contact someone you trust to help with this. Yes, thank you Windows for breaking my computer with your piece of crap update and then making me fix it on my own. My computer don't work. I'm gonna have to go back to my Mac, my old Mac that's literally like seven years old and edit this vlog on it. Thank you, Windows Update. I'm gonna have to walk away from this. It's driving me crazy. We're headed back out. Just got me this ultimate blowtorch thingy. Whoa, that's a lot of fuel. <laughs> Holy cow. So that means it's gonna have a pretty big flame. Oh, it's gonna be a huge flame. Okay. Burn stuff in the bed. <laughs> Ooh. Spraying liquid propane. Ew. It doesn't like being tipped upside down. Come on. It's melting pretty fast. You can easily do a driveway with this. 30, 40 bottles of propane in a couple days. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's let's try to do some snow art. Whoa. How's it working? Oh. Pretty good. I don't know if I planned far enough ahead. <laughs> You're gonna have to squeeze it in. It sounds like this thing's running out of propane already. Uh oh. In the distance. Torch just barely made it. We're still going, but just barely. There it is. One million. There it is. One million for one million. So hot. It's cold. It's really cold. 
It's only my knees. My, my, my toes are so cold. Yeah, I mean, my hand, my feet are cold, but my, I got the best hat in the world, and I got this down goose feather triple fat coat, so that's fine. And my gloves did good, but I'm just in pants. Feels good in here. Woo! Oh, we're down to five degrees. We are currently at. Oh, my camera is so foggy. Oh yeah. We are currently at nine hundred ninety-nine thousand eight hundred and ninety-eight. We need one hundred and two oh, no. subscribe. Oh dang! Here it is. This is it. Boom! One million! Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo! Yes! No, my camera's foggy. We just came inside. We just barely made it in. Oh, it keeps going. One million subscribers. Woo! Woo it's so fast. Jeez. It keeps going. It's still going. <laughs> Guys, I can't believe this. This is... Truly amazing. It Hi. took so much. Hi, Dad. Hey, buddy. Hey, shirt boy. It took so much convincing for me to even start a channel, and now it hit one million almost one year to date. It feels really good. It feels really amazing. Thank you all. A huge thank you to my brother, Roman. And, you know, this really wouldn't have happened without you. Uh, your hard work and dedication through all this. You've built such an empire. Uh, you know, thank you. Everyone, everyone knows it. Thank you so much. One million subscribers. This is huge. I feel, I feel like I need to do like some kind of big video for this. I, ah, I, I wish I would have anticipated this a little better. Uh, like a week ago when I checked, it said 15 days out, but you know, those are just estimations, so got to run out really fast, and then, uh, well, you're going to come with us, so come along. Come on. We're just uh, looking for this guy's house, <laughs> picking something up. Oh my he's, gosh, it sounds so he's, bad. He's kind of our dealer, I guess you'd call him. I, I think this is it. Yeah. It's kind of a sketchy side of town. We're getting close. So it's like, if the yellow light's on, He's available, and if it's not, there's no goods, there's no merchandise. Hey, just wait till you see it. Here it is. Go ahead and pull in. Flash your lights twice. No! <laughs> We're here. the garage open for us and everything. You go in and get the stuff, and double time it back. I, I gotta go in. I guess it's a little too heavy for her to carry. It's a big, it's a big order this time. All right, guys, you gotta keep a low profile, but we got, we got, we got the goods. We got it. We ready to show them? Yeah. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> All right, here it is. It's our honey supplier. Bam! <laughs> local honey supplier. <laughs> He's got a local honey grower, and they bottle honey and sell it, and we buy it all from here. And apparently when you buy local, my family don't have allergies, but they say for people who do have allergies, if you eat local honey, it helps your body fight allergies. So the local honey is so much more better for you. And if you look at the crap they sell at the store, most of it's just corn syrup or flavored, honey flavor. Most of it's junk, most of it's garbage, and it's really expensive, even though it's junk on the store shelf. So we buy it local, we know it's pure honey, we get the best. These things are cool. All right, we're just getting back. Guys, I had like a few things that I was gonna do tonight, but this one million news has just like thrown my brain into like a swirl and I can't concentrate on anything. I'm kind of back and forth between three different things right now and I just can't focus. So I'm actually gonna wrap this video up. Guys, thank you so much for sticking around and watching my videos. I got a lot of really cool video ideas in the works. Some of them are like 80% complete. I'm almost done on some really cool ones, so it won't be long at all. I'm going to be in the comments replying to questions and comments for about 15 minutes right after this video. So uh, ask questions, uh, 
throw some stuff out there, write in the comments, and I'll be in the comments uh, writing back, answering questions. Thank you guys so much for making my channel hit 1 million subscribers. I'll see you next time.